This is Mark Wu from yeprogrammer.com. Um, I'm going to talk about how to do a lab pass transform uh, in MATLAB. Normally, you, if you want to do a pass transform, you want to use a table. However, sometimes the function may be very complex. Uh, so you may want to use MATLAB. In here, uh, I define a system variable. S. And I say f is equal to 4s squared divided by 3s plus 2. If I want to do the inverse Laplace transform, that is a syntax. So it's very easy to do it in MATLAB. Okay, so assume we have more variable A, B, C, and S. This time I'm I redo the previous function, but instead of putting number, I I use A, B, C to replace the number. This is the function. And if I do the inverse Laplace transform for that, and that's just a result. So that means that like, even you give a number or a variable, it can still give you the inverse Laplace transform without any problem using MATLAB. Now, instead of doing inverse Laplace transform, I'm going to do Laplace transform this time. I have a function, sine 5t plus 1.2 times exponential minus 8t. The syntax of doing the Laplace transform is, is this. And this is the result, clear, easy simple to do it in MATLAB. If I want to replace the 5 and 8 with some variable, I can do it without any problem. Uh, the Laplace transform in MATLAB can, can handle numbers and also variable. 